Hello everyone, welcome to Minda Brown Wednesday webinar titled the ASAP Customer Portal. My name is Malika Sanun, working support dedicated for transition support and I will show you today how you're going to use the portal to get any type of information you will looking for. Sub Business One Customer Portal. ASAP uh, they they built a customer portal dedicated for ca cast for the customers. It's different than the portals because you're gonna find only the information that needed from a customer side. How to navigate into ASAP Business One Customer Portal? So this is the main page, okay. In the customer in the sub uh, customer portal. This is the link to uh, to log into it. You can save it in your browser. I will show you that in the end of the presentation. It's very easy. You will find hardware and software requirements that if you if you would buy a new server or you are migrating for the new server or upgrading your server, your IT he needs uh, this mandatory documentation to to bring the perfect server to run all your softwares in addition to ACAP Business One smoothly and quickly. You will also find how to guide 9.1. Here I'm just mentioning 9.1 because for the moment we are working on the latest version A supported by Minna Brown which is 9.1. But every time you can find any version of ACAP you are running. So how to guide, what is it? Is just the advanced features of ACP Business One. It's like uh, the analysis, it's like it's features that you don't need it to run it in the beginning of uh, of ACP for the users. Documentation, of course, you're gonna find for every single module all the explanation uh, in in the part of documentation. You will also find Easy Start Guides. It's a help and a guide to install ACAP Business One in a new PC or for a new user. And then there is the ACAP Business One Academy. This kind of e-learnings, presentation, demonstration, simulation. I will show you how to use that in the end of the of the PowerPoint. And then you have a small part what you're going to expect from a new release of ACAP Business One. Like for example, the mo for the moment, the latest version we are working on is 9.1, but we're going to have a 9.2 coming soon. And you can read the news, what are the new features, and if you are happy with, you can schedule your upgrade with us and we will be happy to install it for you. And also, the most, one of the most important uh, documentation that every single user have to have it is a Bible of ACB Business One. Go to manual, like for example, how to create sales order from A to Z. And this cover all the modules in ACB Business One. Okay, let's go back to the our portal. How to use the portal, okay? So you have here a menu, the titles, you have home, so, for example, if you get lost in the pages, you just need to go back to home and you can get started from at the beginning. And then you have, you're going to use a lot of documentation and then you're going to use a lot of education and news. Okay. But to log into this portal, you need uh, to have an S user. Okay. If you don't know, if you don't have it already, you can send an email to ASAP ACP support at minnebron.com and we can provide you one or more than one S user for all the, um, the employee who wants to uh, read documentation or to access the forum, etc. etc. Okay, so home is here to get the menu back. For example, if you are looking for certain information and then you want to come back, also just click on home. Okay, and then let's start by documentation. I show you what you can find in underneath a documentation. You click on doc documentation uh, there, okay. The second screen is gonna be 
documentations, this is the title, so we are under this module, and then you have to choose the family. Okay, you can tell me why we don't go directly to family 9, but because uh, one year ago you were able to find two menus, family 9 and family 8. But because 8 is not supported anymore by ACP, it's only supported by Milner Brown, so they, can, they put only in family 9. Then you click on family 9, okay, you click in here. Once you choose this one, you will get this second screen. In the second screen, as you see, you have to be aware that you are in the right version of patch level and patch level of SAP. Like for example, I told you because this is a new, it's coming soon, so you can find all the 9.2 documentation. But because we're going to be using 9.1, we're going to choose 9.1 in here. But for every single tab, it has a documentation menu. Like you're going to find getting started, system administration, modules and features, and also, for example, SDK costume development, all this a little bit advanced uh, function. But to be honest, when we go to documentation, we are sharing the same documentation for partners and the customer. Okay? So, let's choose our uh, right patch level. So, here we are 9.1, okay, because the purpose of uh, the presentation for the moment is 9.1. And then let's go for the first menu, which is getting started. Okay, for the getting started, you're going to find Easy Start Guide and ACAB Business One to go is the manual. Okay, <laughs> I call it the Bible. Okay, so Easy Start Guide, okay, if you click on this or this, actually, this one, be aware about it because this one is the version for SAP HANA. As you know, there is two types of database. There is the SQL or the HANA. For what is the difference between a SQL and HANA? SQL, HANA, they put some advanced um, reports that this report cannot be run in SQL because it uh, requires high, uh, high resources. And HANA is able to, do, to run this kind of uh, report. Like, for example, uh, cash flow. Cash flow, the new version of cash flow, it only, you can only find it in SAP HANA. So just be aware that you are choosing the right uh, documents here. It means like SQL. Once you click on that one, okay, it's going to be a zip file. Okay, why a zip file? Because it's a start, it's for all languages. Just, just um, choose your uh, correct language. And then, for example, here, I, as you said, as, as you can see, um, there is the English. And then what you can find in this document is how to prepare to install SAP, how to install SAP, how to get the license key for that, and also how to update SAP Business One and uh, how to get support for it. Okay, I think how to get support for it, you don't really need it because, as I said, we share the same documents uh, for partners and for customers, so getting support is more for partners than customers because the customers you will send your email to subsupport at minnabrown.com for us. Okay? We continue. Uh, so here is a start to guide and then we have ACP Business One to go. So what is ACP Business One to go manual? Here the link how you can find uh, the 9.1 version. You just click on it and then it drives you there. And go to manual is is a book to is intended to create a framework for further learning. Because in the beginning, when we all go live and we got uh, like tra first training, maybe second training too, but we still we never remember the first steps. Okay, so. Once you have a go to manual, you already know what it says order, you, you already know what is add, update, etc. But you just you don't know where the information are. So go to manual, you have the manual in, in front of you and you will understand everything, single every single uh, field what uh, what does it what does it need to feed to be filled in. 
So here, like, I'm going to read this ACP, introduce ACP Business One and explain its general approach. So in this document, in the first part, I will show you later on what's ACP Business One, what you used for, and then the general functions. Okay. Okay, let me just click on the link and then show you that. It's about two to three hundred pages and we're going to see for the version 9.1 because it's different from a version to a version and if I go down to this content, table contents. So we see here you have what is ACP Business One, a presentation and then getting started, how to use the main menu, how to use the toolbar, the statue bar, what does it mean, the st st system messages, and how to use the dashboard, and how to use the cockpit, etc. And these functions is the general functions for every users, okay? And then once and depends the user in which department he is. For example, if he's looking for financial accounting, so he's all the parts of financial, and then if he's in um, in uh, CRM, so he needs to create master data. If he needs sales, so he has to go to sales, which is a little bit down. Uh, okay. Or if he's a sales opportunities, how to use sales opportunities, etc., etc. Okay, it's a very useful document. It's very for me. It's the Bible for getting started, especially in the beginning, just after go live. Okay, we're gonna close this one and go back to my presentation. So. That's what I'm saying. It's explained its general approach. They cover the basics, explain the core functionality for keeping track of accounts and business partners as well as the fundamental processes for purchasing and sales. They review the powerful functionality ACP Business offers for managing inventory and production, sales and service using CRM and related analytics, as well as introducing ways to automate your business processes. At times, this book provides step-by-step instruction for getting things done. But most of all, it's explained the way to think about ACP Business One, so that's inspiring ideas about how to put the product to work in your business will follow quickly. Also, for example, it helps you for to, to, to apply the the recurrent uh, transaction, it happens only once in a year, like exchange rate, like posting period, we only do this once a year and we always forget how to do it. So you have the manual to helps you to, to follow step by step and to achieve it uh, correctly. Okay, we've seen getting started. Now there is other uh, documentation, very important, so system administration. When you click on system administration, you're going to have three types or four types of documents. Okay, so you're going to have an administrator guide, okay, and here you're going to find SQL and HANA as well. And you're going to find also the platform support matrix for SQL and sub HANA. And also you're going to find support, uh, platform support for cloud and integration solutions. And the end and the most important one is the hardware requirements guide for SAP. Now, so we've seen getting started, system administration, and then modules and features. When you click on modules and features, you're going to find how to guide and the online help for SAP Business One. How to guide, as I said previously, it's only the advanced features. Like, for example, one of the most important documents is how to define authorization. Okay, it's, it's a such complicated task needs to be done in the beginning and carefully. So this is here, it explains to you every single menu what uh, the authorization is about to affect it or not affect it to a user. Okay, and then you can find uh, how uh, to work with interactive analysis, how to set up uh, a new serial batch valuation method, etc., etc. Okay, this is very 
and nice documents. Then you have the online help for SAP Business One. So it's the explanation of the all modules existing in SAP. Okay. And the most important thing, you can find it in all languages. Now, one of the most important parts on SAP is SAP Business One Academy. What is it? Is the e-learning provided by SAP. It's very important, easy, easy to use. Um, <clears throat> it's uh, accessible by uh, uh, via sub-community network. It's updated regularly by SAP and customers can use SAP Stone Academy as self-serving training and enabling tool. So here are the link to access to it. Okay. Uh, we're going to access to this link and show you how you can use the SAP Business One Academy. Okay, here we go. So, it's the same page as you see, SAP Business One Academy, and then here it's called page, main page. Uh, you don't need to worry about all this menu around this m main page, okay? Just you go down a little bit and then you're going to find overview, logistic, logistics and accounting. But if you go down a little bit down, you will find all other topics. But this, you don't need to go into it, it's uh, for the partners. Okay, so I just mentioned again, documentation and SAP Business One Academy, you have the same content as we have. So that's why you're going to find other subjects, which is we are sharing the same document, which is provided by SAP. So overview and logistics and accounting. So what is overview? So it, it's go over all the modules and it gives you just a and a general idea what this module or what is this function does. But if you want to go into details, for example, if I pick logistics, under logistic, you have to look only into the table of content. So we have purchasing, sales, items, inventory, bin locations, advanced training, pricing, production, MRP, and service. Let me just pick one of uh, this topic. Let's go, for example, for sales. <coughs> In sales, you get, you're going to also find another menu, so all about sales. Like, for example, overview of sales process, okay? Or sales order to cash or customers and customers are uh, customer groups. Okay. Let's, for example, I'm going to pick uh, pick and pack enhancement. Each, for, each sub, uh, for each title, you're going to find a recorded presentation, the download version of a recorded presentation, the PDF presentation, and then the simulation sim that means pick and pack. And this is very nice just to to get started the first time. So I'm going to show you how you're going to use this. So you just click on that and it's an online version. Okay. And then it's a kind of video and also a presentation. So you can stop and then you can skip any title. Okay. And then, for example, if I am in this fort and I close this one and then click again to this presentation, it takes you and to ask you, would you like to resume where you were left off? So it's good because you don't need to be to do all the training in one row. So you can do it by by part. So you can say no, you can say yes, and then it again drive you there. So this is the recorded one and then you can get the PDF presentation is the same as the recorded presentation and then you can find the simulation. What is a simulation? I'll show you. So it tells you, ah, oh, you have to click in 
add. You have to choose the date, you have to choose the customer, etc., etc., by clicking in the arrows. So if I click in that arrow, so for example, start by adding a production order. So I go to production order. And then I click production order. And then here enter product number S11001. So I'm just going to put 1111. And then it gives me that. Choose the calendar. It's very good this one because you will get used to the new terms of ACP because maybe uh, you call your product as product, maybe here it's called items code. So it's good like to just pass once at least to get just used to the new terms of ACP. So this is the simulation uh, version and you can download it. Why you need to download it? In case that you want to see it in offline uh, option, offline internet. Okay, let me just go back to my webinar. So we have just seen the SAP Business One Academy. And then from here, okay, so we have menu, uh, the main menu, and then you go to education. From the education, again, you need to choose the family release. And then it drives you to the, to the main, main page. And then as I showed you the table of content, and then here the modules, and how to use them. Okay, find a solution. What is a final solution? Sometimes you are stuck uh, in a problem, okay? And maybe you just want to have a look at it before you send it to ACP support. Maybe you can find a quick answer. So if you click on find solution or go to the forum, in the forum you can find that many people, maybe they could present the same issue as you have, okay? Because, you know, in the system, in the system, message log I show you here if you go to uh, Windows and then you click on system message log sometimes when you do a wrong transaction or something is going wrong with ACP you will find a red message in the top here and you cannot read it to read it again you just open this system messages log and you go to Windows and you click on here. Now it's ticked. And then you can read your uh, message error. So you can right click on that, you copy this text, okay? And then you go to the forum. So how do we go to the forum? Basically, you click on these links, so this is how it looks like the note of ACP. So for example here I put an example, discount based on gross profit, but you can right click and copy the text that I copied from ACP from messages log and maybe you could find uh, something related to it. And the notes what is the difference between notes and forum? Notes is the official uh, solution from ACP. Forum is solutions provided by either users or either con uh, consultant ACP. So how to use the note? Because this is a new version of ACP Business One Note. So basically, uh, you need to choose the version the product you are running. For example, you are 9.2, 9.1, or 9.0, 8.8. So you choose one of them. Okay. And then you can also choose which uh, area are you working for. For example, SAP Business One add-ons or administration, banking, business partner, etc., etc. So 
this is just kind of a filter to get the right notes for your uh, issue. And then it will come up with a note number. Okay, for example, here is the and a header discount cannot be added when using cost price. Why? And then here you're going to find the explanation. And then ACP either provide a workaround or it tells you it's going to be a fix in patch uh, level number or uh, version number uh, in the future release. Okay? So here is the forum. So also you have a small box here. You can put your text you're looking for, an issue or uh, a documentation, etc. And then you will find suggestion people, maybe they are look like your uh, issue. And you always have to look for the green one. Is the green one has an answer. Read the answer and try to, f to look if um, the issue is similar to yours. Okay? And here the red, the green one. So this is just a, a useful link for sub summary. So here is for sub customer portals, sub academy, and sub business one forum. Okay? So for example, if you copy this link, Okay, um, so I just click on it and then I show you how you can save it in your browser. So here basically it asks me for an S user. Okay, so I'm going to open it. Without an S user you cannot access to the sub uh, portal. But because I already saved my my portal. So I'm just going to copy the... I'm going to show you how you can save the customer portal in here. So you see it asked me for an S user and then I have to click OK. I guess this is my our page main page for SAP. So here we have this link. Okay. So how you put it in your toolbar or in a folder? So basically you go here and you right click and you create a new folder. Let's say for example call it sub access link. Okay. You add. Uh, it's not visible here. I'm just going to remove this one. So here our folder and then you select all link and then you hold the link and then you drag it into your folder. i show you how. So I, I will drag and relate to my folder. Okay. Now next time when I'm going to open when I'm going to open my browser I don't need to remember or type the link again. I just go to my folder and click in here. And then of course you have your S user saved and then just click OK and then you're going to get the main menu of ACP Business One customer portal. That's it and the news. So, if you have, uh, if we have a new version coming soon, or, or any like a, a, a fix bug, it just like tells you. This is this part that tell, tells you uh, the latest news and announcement around SAP Business One, and they mentioned here that it's only in English. So you click on it, and then you get all the news provided for partners and SAP. Et voilà, I hope you enjoyed the presentation and it was uh, useful, but please feel free to ask any question and I will be happy to answer for you.